Nigerians are facing tough economic situation with the rising cost of foodstuffs, fuel and electricity tariff. This is compounded by worsening insecurity, which has affected food production, as many farmers have abandoned their farms due to fears of attack or kidnapping. Rabi Ukwankwaso puts the blame of all these at the doorstep of the political class. He said greed by the political class is the major bane of the nation's economy. Problem of insecurity, problem of equality, even political issues everywhere. And of course, hunger. Nigeria has enough resources for each and every one of us to share. Unfortunately, we have so many greedy people at the top. They want to take everything keep for themselves, spare very little for election days. I believe today, Nigerians, especially people from the Southeast, should know better that electing, supporting bad people to be at the helm of affairs of government is too dangerous to do. While addressing his party members in Omaha, the former governor of Kano State says he is in Abia State to build the party, strengthen his foundation, and ensure that the Southeast supports his candidature in 2027. And I'm sure that within the shortest possible time, all the reasons why we have people from northern Nigeria supporting our movement, I'm sure the good people of eastern Nigeria, especially here in Abia, will understand Support State chairman of the party describes Kwan Kwaso as a man of excellence and determination whose goodwill spans across the nation. Because he's a great man, because he's an achiever, because he's a good man, yes. because he is a good man. Yes. Out of him, we keep following, we are not afraid. Nothing is tearing us. To join hands with the Composia Mobilization Contact Team that are not tied with all the activities of Composia and NMPP under your leadership and humble directives to deliver your message of ensuring that Composia achieves one. Kwan Kwaso had earlier paid a courtesy call on the state governor, Alex Oti, at his country home in Mvose. Nora Okafor, Arise News.